nada. Tá. Então eu não preciso, é só preciso estar aqui para não falar. Mas não estou ouvindo, no, ele não está falando. A transmissão está pauperna. Isso aí está abaixo da crítica. Você não, não... I'm uh, doing a capsule rexus here under viscoat, regrasping as necessary to keep control of the tear. And now we'll do hydrodissection. I use a bent 26 gauge needle. going to where I can see to get under it and hydro free dissect until I'm sure I'm well under it and then little pulses of BSS until I get a fluid wave at least extending part way across the capsule posteriorly and then I finish with a twi uh, straight 26 gauge cannula for hydrodelineation and further hydrodissection. Then I try to rotate the nucleus and even hopefully the epinucleus before starting phacoemulsification because with my techniques I will often rotate the nucleus for fracturing. And I like to s get the <coughs> 12 o'clock epinucleus free while, there's, uh, while the nucleus is still hanging on to it or attached to it because the, the nucleus can help to rotate the epinucleus out of the 12 o'clock position. I use suction before putting on any ultrasound to <coughs> make sure that there's enough irrigation to cool the tip, <coughs> cool the sleeve. and then start the emulsification. So we're doing downslope sculpting. Notice I'm nudging the nucleus to be able to sculpt the upper part of the nucleus. And then a little phaco sweep to go right through the posterior part of the plate. There's no occlusion here and it's very safe. And now I will do the horizontal fracture. And so there's a fracture through that and now I can separate off little sections. One can either emulsify those as they're fractured or do all the fracturing. So we have the entire inferior half fractured. <coughs> and here I'm emulsifying as I fracture it. And now we'll go back and get those that were fractured but left in place. Notice the spatula can bring the material to the port. Don't have to go fishing with the phaco tip. So it's a little more efficient to emulsify each segment as it's fractured. But it does uh, allow more stability in delicate situations if the segments are left in place. Now with the epinucleus loose, well loosened, it also comes easily without any struggle.
I use a 0.3 IA tip and I use surgeon control of aspiration which means that if if I just barely touch the foot switch I have a low aspiration flow rate with a low aspiration flow rate the vacuum rises very slowly that makes it safe to react and <coughs> vent in case the capsule is grasped and it helps to avoid tearing the soft cortical material with too vigorous aspiration. Once the material is well out in the middle of the capsular bag, then I can press down on the foot switch, go to high aspiration flow rate, which causes the vacuum to rise to the maximum setting very quickly, like now, and emulsify that very efficiently. Now we'll uh, change to cap back to just aspirate off these little wisps of cortex, little strands. When I'm vacuuming the capsule, I move the I ate it very slowly, because even with the low vacuum, one can tear the capsule if the movement is too rapid. I'll use the bent 30 to get this little bit of cortex from under the incision. So I deepen the chamber, self-sealing incision, it will deepen, and then I can get the anterior leaflet of this little strand of cortex. 